Hey everybody, this is Roberto Blake of RobertoBlake.com sharing something awesome and amazing with you guys today. Some special news from our friends at Adobe. Adobe has unveiled Adobe Fuse and this thing is tremendous. So the very cool thing about Adobe Fuse is we will get to make our own 3D models and characters and we can use basic assets to do this. And it's gonna be very cool because you don't have to have a background in 3D animation or 3D modeling or sculpting to take advantage of this. This is very cool. I think it's very much uh, similar to Poser. I haven't gotten to play too much with this yet, but it is brand new, it is out there, and we'll be able to take these things into Photoshop and to manipulate them to do what we want. And this is gonna be amazing. And there's so many practical applications for this. For one thing, it's getting me very excited about my digital artwork. A lot of you remember my Adobe Speed art videos and me doing my personal artwork here on the channel. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of that. And this hypes me up to do it because I will get to do it with not just stock photos or whatever I took with my own camera. I'll get to play with these new 3D models and make totally new interesting things right off the top of my head. And that is amazing. Some of the other practical applications of this are that companies will be able to make 3D mascots very easily without a lot of technical know-how, and I think that's very cool. Very excited about this, very cool. I think we actually can technically 3D animate some of this stuff based on what we can already do with 3D animation in Adobe Photoshop, so that's interesting. But I love that we can finally just make these 3D characters and do what we want with them. For photographers, this could be interesting because an art director like me can go ahead and map out everything I want for a piece of digital artwork without having a model and having the exact person in place. I can pose it and make it however I want and then be able to give that art direction to a photographer to do a shoot. So that's very cool. Or if I want something illustrated, I can go ahead and kind of mock something up and hand it over to an illustrator or an art team and have them put together something without having to have something too crude to work with or just me telling them what I want the pose to be. I can actually give it to them the way that I want it. So again, all these things are super cool and interesting. I love the direction that Adobe's going. This is the kind of innovation that we expect from them and what puts them above the majority of their competition. So I'm thrilled about Adobe Fuse um, CC and I'm probably going to be showing off some things and playing with it here on the channel. So make sure you're staying tuned for that. Uh, I will probably do those kind of things more on a Thursday thing or I might do them sporadically. So we will see. It'll just come down to how quickly I can learn this get something passable out there and show you guys and start talking about it. Um, as I learn, I may develop tutorials around this to help you guys get into it as I am learning about it myself. So I think that'll be very cool, shiny new toy to play with, very excited about it, and this is something that's going into my workflow. And I can already imagine that there will be some client requests and excitement around this, so I'm thrilled and I will be grateful for the new revenue stream. So. That's why I'm hyped up about Adobe Fuse and this announcement is you know, so great for me and I can't wait to take advantage of all this. Let me know what your thoughts are about the new Adobe Fuse CC. Have you checked it out on the website yet? What are you gonna do with it? What other practical applications can we come up with for this beyond the ones that I've already mentioned? Let me know in the comment section what you're thinking and what are you gonna do with this thing now that we have it? Anyway, like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other awesome content on the channel. As always, you guys, thanks so very much for watching. And don't forget, create something awesome today, preferably with Adobe and all the fun toys we have.